Today, three is the magical number. Cue the music. Hi, I'm Gabby and I'm the Fragrantician and welcome back to another edition. Here we talk about fragrances which are very, very close to my heart. So if you like what you see, subscribe, like, comment and share the love of fragrance. So today, what are we going to talk about? Well, I'm doing a collaboration with the lovely Bougie Fragrance from across the pond. She asked me to do a collaboration with her on my three most loved designer houses or um, fragrance houses that I love, whether it be designer, niche, celebrity, whatever. So it so happens that two of them are designer and one of them isn't, although it could be classed as a designer, but I'll talk about that later. First one, which is very, very close to my heart, is this one by Givenchy and it's called Haute Couture. This was launched in 2000 and the reason why this has a special place in my heart because it's now 20 years old and it was the year that I married my husband. So it has very, very strong memories with me. I'm going to spray it, just spray it on this little card here. So, if you can see my cat here, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry about him and he will just walk along here because I am a crazy, crazy cat lady. But let's just get back to the fragrance, shall we? So, in this fragrance, we have raspberry, which is the top note. And I adore that, absolutely adore that. As you know, I love raspberry, but it's not a sweet raspberry because it's got that pepperiness that is in the background, almost incensey. And then it dries down to vetiver. I will link the notes up above me or to the side, wherever you can see it best. I just need to spray a bit more of this fragrance. On initial spray, you can, you can smell that raspberry and then the pepperiness comes through and it's like burning embers almost. Actually, there's another um, reviewer on here. I'll put her in the bottom, the link down below. That's Pixie in the notes. She actually described this fragrance really, really well and she described it like it was like butterflies in her stomach and she was with her love and the fires were burning around her not literally fire burning around her, but she was by a bonfire and the embers created that smokiness. This is what that does. This is great for autumn or winter or fall, as the Americans like to call it. I call it autumn. But it's really, really lovely and I do enjoy this fragrance a lot. So that is Haute Couture. By Givenchy. I will say that, that there are the other fragrances before Givenchy, like Amarige and um, Isatis, which were in the 80s and 90s, Organza as well was another one in the late 90s. I did use that, but this one is really, really lovely. And actually, Givenchy, actually, um, because he was a, a French designer in the 1950s, he actually had Audrey Hepburn as his muse, and she actually um, had a fragrance that she had called L'Interdit, which was then revamped and remarketed, I think back in 2016 or 2017, but it was, although it was a throwback to that, had a completely different smell to it, completely different um, update on it. So it was nothing like the original L'Interdit. But for me, Haute Couture by Givenchy wins my heart. So the second fragrance, which is from some would say maybe it's a designer fragrance, some would say it's not. It's not a designer fragrance, but some would see it as that. I don't know why, but um, that is from the house of Guerlain. Now Guerlain is a French brand. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, um, French perfumery house from, I think, 150, 200 years ago now. 
I don't know if it's that old, don't quote me on that. I'm only going what's in the little grey cells here, as Hercule Poirot would say. But nonetheless. But anyway, Jacques Guerlain, he created his perfume house, um, but it's now sold on and it's owned by another brand now. I think it's Louis Vuitton, um, which is another French brand. So he bought out the original Chalimar, which was in 1925. Um, it was a very daring fragrance. It was for the flappers of the 1920s um, and had a story behind it. Actually, a lot of Guerlain fragrances do have a story behind it. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose, so I'm just itching it like you do. I like to keep it real in these videos. What you see is what you get. And this is not the story of Guerlain. So, um, yeah, so Chalamar was the very first iconic 1925 fragrance. Um, it actually was launched in 1921, but it was under a different name. There was a bit of a lawsuit, it had to be changed, and Guerlain um, Chalamar was born in 1925. So anyway, fast forward, a lot more forward, to the year 2017, when this little baby was born. Yes, some of you who know me will know that this is my signature fragrance from the house of Guerlain. It is Black Perfecto, La Petite Robe Noire de Guerlain. So it's a flanker of La Petite Robe Noire. He liked the original La Petite Robe Noire. Um, the longevity wasn't good on my skin and the projection was okay. But um, to me, it had too much of a sour cherry note. This in here, however, this doesn't. I'll spray it. Beautiful bottle, as you can see. It's got the little leather little feel to it at the top here. Love the top here. This is the 100 mils. Um, I do have, believe it or not, three other backup bottles. Yes, that is how much I love this fragrance, which are stored out of sunlight, stored correctly. So they will not, well, hopefully go out of date and age perfectly. But anyway, I'm using this and I'm an over sprayer, so I could get through a hundred mils in a couple of months. That's how much I spray. So I'll take the top off. So let's spray this little bad boy, or this little bad girl as I like to call her, because she's a bit of a bad girl. Look at that spray. Gorgeous. For me, when I first smelt this, it was like a chorus of angels. That's the only way I can describe it. You have that cherry note but it's combined with leather and licorice and patchouli and it has a sweet almond to it as well and a rose. I'll link the notes up above. But it's that licorice and cherry and leather which is just and rose. Those four notes, the way it's intermingled and blended is just music to my ears and it is it's music to my soul. It's just the essence of me. And Guerlain, literally, Thierry Vasso, who was the perfumer behind this, I think he nailed it. I think this fragrance has been discontinued. That's why I did buy several bottles back up of it. And it is dwindling fast. So if you do want to get your hands on it, there are some websites that do have it here in the UK and the US. Um, if you just Google it, you will find it, but it is becoming hard to find. But it is, it's got that leathery note, but it's that slight coldness, but it's got the warmth of the licorice, that sweet licorice, that black dark licorice. Yes, I can envisage a woman in a black jacket, a black leather jacket wearing this. But I can also see this on casual dates. And for me, I wear it daytime, evening. For me, I'll spray about 10 sprays. Yes, that's how much I spray. Even more if I want to. If I want to choke a room out, I'll choke a room out. But then that's me. But 
I wear this for me. I don't wear this for anybody else. This is my comforting fragrance. This is my go-to fragrance. This is my ride or die fragrance. And I just love it. So, I'm doing an in-depth review on that if I haven't done an in-depth re review of that already. But that is Black Perfecto by Guerlain. Welcome to the family. Yes, I'm sad. The third one from my uh, fragrance house that I absolutely love is a recent find. Very, very recent find. Now, I used to wear um, this fragrance, um, the, fr the other fragrance that I used to wear from this fragrance house, I used to wear it a lot, and I mean a lot in the 1990s. And it was a patchouli bomb. It still is a patchouli bomb, although it's been reformulated. It has mixed berries. It has chocolate. It has patchouli. Can anybody think what that designer French house might be? If I say it was by a man who was born in 1948 in Strasbourg. Um, and um, this perfume came out in 1992. Um, and it was nothing like anything else on the market. Would you know what it is? Well, it is by none other than Thierry Mugler, Angel. But this, this isn't the fragrance that I'm going to talk about in this fragrance house. This is what I used to wear. I still do wear, actually. But noses change. And although I do love it, I've got to spray it. Or, OK, I am going to talk a little bit about it because... That's what I do. I just spray it here. Well, I mean, this is the reformulated version of it. I don't know how many times it's been reformulated. But it's a patchouli bomb. Believe it or not, I, I have had compliments from this fragrance. Because it can be polarising. One girl did say to me once, oh, that smells just like my childhood. So it's amazing what fragrances can conjure up. But you've got those berries, you've got the fruits, you've got, I think, melon in here. You've got the patchouli in here. I think it's got vanilla. It's got that dark chocolate. It's got that bitterness to it. It's like Angel is a, a good angel or is she a bad angel? Well, we all know what category I fall into. I was that girl. Yes, I'm still that girl. And yes, I'll always be that girl. Just ask my husband. Anyway, that's another story. So let me just put that to one side. That's what I used to wear. And that's what I still do wear sometimes if I want to. If I want to maybe irk some people off, I might wear that. But anyway... The recent find that I had from Thierry Mugler was this baby. Now, I never liked, although I do like now, Alien. I didn't like it when it first came out in 2005. I just, I don't know. It just, my nose then didn't like it. However, recently I got this baby and I will say that I am literally blown away. Very hard to come by. It's a flanker of the Alien, came out in 2012. You can still get it, but it's very hard to find now. And there are bottles of this diminishing, but I will show you what I've got here. Yes, none other than Alien Essence Absolue. Yes, now this is Alien on steroids. That's the only way I can describe it. If Alien is a princess, this lady rules, and she, boy, does she rule. So I'm going to spray this. This fragrance, oh my gosh, I, I kid you not, I'm going to spray it. Now, as you can see, on there, don't spray it on clothes, because it will stain. I, can, I could smell it from here. This, yes, is a jasmine bomb, Sandback jasmine bomb. And it has the amber. 
and it has the woods but it has myrrh in it and it's the myrrh and the incense that vamps up on my skin and I adore it with a capital A. Oh, I've just got an itchy, almost just making my nose itch. But it's adorable. Well, it's not adorable. That's not the right word for it. It is intoxicating. I just, I've just blown away by it. It is so strong, you literally have to be easy on the trigger. Literally, no more. Well, when I say easy on the trigger, some people might say no more than one spray. Well, on me, I would do three sprays. Yes, because I'm that kind of girl. But no more than that. If you do any more, you could seriously choke a hole. This is so strong. Now, this came, I haven't got the box here because... As you know, bougie, like you, I don't keep boxes. So the box came with Thierry Mugler on it. So I know that this is the, un well, an unreformulated version. So just look at the colour of it. It looks like aged brandy. It looks <coughs> like aged cognac. And I do love the top here. It reminds me of that Raiders of the Lost Ark film. You know, the very last one, when Kate Blanchett was... Um, taken away by the aliens if you ever you've seen that film and you're a fan of Raids of the Lost Ark it had that kind of element of it so it has that alien element but I did like alien but I love love this baby and it's such a shame she's been discontinued because I'm gonna well I'm gonna use you and abuse you honey I literally am as I as I breathe, it's just, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's sumptuous. It's, oh, I'm practically making love to this fragrance. I'm telling you, it's, oh, this could be a date night. This is, this is sultry. Would you wear this to work? Well, I would. But then I'm, but I would. But if you were reserved and you were shy and you didn't want to, choke people out then no you wouldn't want to wear this but if I wanted to pee some people off I would it's obnoxious it's arrogant it's come here but stay at a distance that kind of fragrance and I love it absolutely lovely now if you can hear my cat she's just meowing bless her I have six cats and you will see the cats in this video but there we go she's a Siamese cat so she wants to come in and my husband's just letting her in. So anyway, so we have, let me just pick these bottles up so you can see in all their glory. We have Haute Couture by Givenchy, Black Perfecto by La Petite Robe Noire de, de Guerlain and Alien Essence Absolue by Thierry Mugler. And these three from these designer houses, from these fashion houses, whatever you want to call them, from these French perfumers. They have stolen my heart. They will always be with me. They will always be um, probably my top three fragrances. And I will do an in-depth review on each of those. Um, and they will be in my other videos. But these are, for now, forever and for always. Well, thank you. You've been watching another edition of the Fragrantition. Stay tuned, but don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the love with the Fragrance family. And if you're weird and wonderful like me, welcome. Bye.